Shinji Hakui. Is he a special great sorcerer in the realm of Yuta, Yuki, Geto, and Gojo? Does he qualify for this status? And if not, what grade is he? Most of you are quick to say no. Hakari is not a special grade, GX. But hear me out. Let's actually figure out if this is true before we get the pitchforks out and write in the comments. I know you guys. So let's hit around 100 likes for this video. I believe in you all to do so. Now let's go and discover if Hakari is a special grade sorcerer. To make a case, we have to start with the statements that have been given to Hakari in terms of how strong he is. Yeah, you know. I'm talking about. So he is known to be mentioned earlier in the series by Gojo. He was told in confidence that he was someone that could be as good as him one day. Gojo is a very, very overconfident individual and doesn't just give the name strong to anybody. You are saying this man will be as strong as this man? So Gojo not only saying Hakari will be strong, but will easily break in as a special grade sorcerer and then as strong as him. The strongest sorcerer in the world? Oh. Along with Yuto Kotsu, who at the moment is a special grade sorcerer. So there has to be something that indicates Hakari is a special grade status. If the strongest is so confident in his student like this, he might be onto something. But let's figure it out. He was also known to be suspended and the reasons were always unknown as to exactly why he was suspended even to this date. Now fast forward to Yuta having a conversation with Tengen. When Yuta explained his time in Africa, Gojo was worried about everybody besides Hakari even saying that he should be fine, saying Yuta doesn't even need to take care of him at all because it was reaffirmed even later on from the last time he mentioned Hakari in the series. From the sounds of it, it seems like Hakari will beat everyone as a grade 1 sorcerer, especially when it comes to the first and second years. That includes all the heavy hitters. Well, not Maki now, I guess. Not only that, our main guy Yuta Kotsuyu himself says when Hakari gets worked up, he's stronger than him. These Hakari statements are ballistic and for him not to be potentially special grade looks kind of crazy at the moment, right? The sheer belief from everyone and their faith in Hakari is very telling to what and how strong he is. Although Maki says it's not true, but there has to be some truth to it, the fact that Hakari is somewhat relative to Yuta and the other special grades with the statements alone. But is this just all talk? Is Hakari really Himothy? Let's find out. Most of Hakari's feats take place in the Tokyo Colony number 2, in which he fought against Charles and Kashimo. Charles was just a warm up for him to get his role starting. But could that really be the problem with Hakari to begin with? Against a more competent sorcerer, would he have been able to survive until he can successfully hit jackpot in a domain expansion in the Restless Gambler? Let's see how strong he really is without jackpot. So prior to him getting a jackpot, Hakari is seen to be quite far and he can use his cursed energy pretty decently to enhance his abilities. It is known to be unique and rough, making his opponents fear getting hit by his rough cursed energy. It seems like this is the best way for him to break down his opponent. Also, he can use train doors to close rapidly. In the midst of his domain, he was able to close the doors so fast. Charles wasn't even able to react whatsoever, even though Charles could see into the future by 2 seconds. It's very hard to assess base Hakari as a whole, but that's only a fraction of his magic. Now the real danger is the Hakari pause track. From what is known, he can have a huge increase of cursed energy which is constantly flaring up in him and increasing for 4 minutes and 11 seconds. When fighting against Kashimo, he is seen to crash a huge crater just by stepping on it with his cursed energy alone. And this are the cargo containers which they use for shipping, which in all fairness kind of shows Hakari has really abnormal human strength with no effort. That perhaps could reach the requirements of a special grade alone. But let's see what else he can do. I mean, Nanami was able to put a crate in the wall, right? But a funny thing is Hakari's cursed energy extends far, easily damaging the cargo containers even without touching them. Do you see that? Without touching them. Feats like this is not easy, especially just of pure cursed energy alone. Let's not forget, Hakari is fighting someone who would slaughter everyone that is a grade 1 sorcerer. The same person who has guaranteed hit just of touching you alone, which is insanity. No diffed panda as well. Kashimo really is possibly special grade. But that's a conversation for another day, especially considering Kashimo's curse technique has not been revealed. Kashimo who was getting overwhelmed by Kashimo's speed was able to turn the tides of the battle, especially when he was about to die. Able to trigger something and we're still not sure what he did, but it definitely made him more powerful and faster in the process. Now, let's actually talk about his intelligence. He was able to know Kashimo is somebody that relies on electricity and electricity is basically his cursed energy. So putting him in the water would be the smartest thing because he would be able to exert the electricity to the point where he won't be able to control himself. 
that might have to be thanks to Charles, but you can clearly see that Hakuri is really really smart when he is fighting and he doesn't do stuff just for no reason. How skillful do you need to be to change the coordinates of your own domain expansion? That's pretty sick. Now touching up on durability, you guys already know because he's a mortal, he's able to survive in a much much better rate. He actually is able to get banged in the head hurt in the belly etc etc just because he's immortal and is able to regenerate. Reverse curse technique is acting on its own and can even defeat poison. That's kind of crazy. Hakari is not just a normal guy. He is someone that is possibly able to enter that special grade range and is not really a surprise as to why it seems like it's possible. I mean just look at the amount of things that he's done. Before anything, we need to state out what is a special grade sorcerer. A special grade sorcerer is somebody that can overthrow a country. Gojo, Ghetto, Yuki and Yuta are seen to be able to overthrow a country by themselves. So that will make the bracket of people able to become special grade sorcerers a lot harder than you believe. Like not anyone can just get that name or title. It's a pretty big deal. With the domain expansion, that's faster than Mahito's 0.2 second domain expansion. Pretty much instant at that point. He can generate different outcomes, so when it comes to him being a special grade, it definitely all depends on his luck. But his skill to grab the luck is what makes him a feared opponent. 4 minutes and 11 seconds of pure uninterrupted immortality. To defeat this opponent is very, very difficult. Now let's re-invite the meaning of special grade. It means to take down a whole country down by yourself, which is the definition given by Kenjaku. This means for Hakari to take down the whole country, he would need to constantly spam his domain expansion. In addition, his attacks big and wide enough to do so as well, shooting flares of cursed energy at the people that he's fighting against. Well, let's see how Yuto could take down a whole country. His energy reserves and boundless curse energy as well as his use of his curse technique that he stores allowing him to absolutely obliterate everyone in sight. Although not like Gojo, he can go on for ages. Hakuri on the other hand must fight with mostly his cursed energy and could wipe out everyone in his sight with ease. Just over a longer period of time in fact. This is due to the need to be spamming domain expansions repeatedly for sure. Now let's get everything that Hakuri has in his locker besides his swaggy clothes. He has abnormal strength, extreme durability, unrivaled domain expansion speed, ridiculous luck, amazing clutch factor, intelligent and knows how to use a binding vault especially against Kashimo in which he was able to save himself from dying overall. So all in all, this is building up a case for Hakuri as a special grade. If there was anything above grade 1 and maybe below special grade, that is where he would be. Maybe like a special grade in training. I think he would definitely be there. But in this case, perhaps the lowest form or special grade, but depending on specific conditions and requirements, he wasn't allowed to murder in his form. So that's something to think about also. This would actually conclude the video. Thanks for checking this video out. I want you to check the videos on the screen, which, you know, I think you guys might be interested in some of them. And as I say to the new and old people that come and visit my channel, ja.